Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's Pro Gamer here, and today we actually have a uh, double upload. <laughs> That's surprising, coming from someone who hasn't uploaded in like two months. But you know, thieves their own find stuff. Better stuff anywhere else. Please shut up. Anyways, uh, I figured out a way using the method that I said you know is a really shitty way of making money. Well, I figured out that that's like a bull-faced fucking lie. Uh, in on itself, yes, it's a horrible way to make money because you're paying exactly for what you're uh, buying back. Right? But see, this method actually involves crafting. Now, it will take a bit of time, and it's just really simple, which kind of like bounces each other out. Like, if it was like really complicated, and then it had like barely any payoff and I would say I just wouldn't even make a video about it but obviously I'm making a video about it so obviously it's a little time consuming but only to the point to where you know when to stop and you know exactly how much you want etc whatever so first let me go ahead and explain this a little bit if you were to, okay I'll just go to him if you were to uh, sell one Molotov you get $24 for each one, right? Now obviously Molotovs in and of themselves aren't very expensive, but selling them in large quantities can net you a fair amount of money. Now, if you go down to uh, here, or no actually, I, I just go down to sell. If you scroll down and you see string and alcohol, they're $5 a piece. Now if you go into the blueprints and you look at Molotovs, those are the only two items that you need, is one of each. I gotta figure out what the hell they are. Alright, just one string and one alcohol. And it produces two of them. So, you might be able to see what I'm getting at, but in case you don't, two Molotovs together to this vendor are almost $50. Now again, that doesn't seem like much, but in the long run of things, it can mean a shit ton of money. So obviously, almost fifty dollars for ten bucks is a nice payoff. It's like one to five, right? So if you were to go ahead and use duplication trick that I figured out earlier, which there's I've actually gotten it down pretty much, you just do it and as soon as it pops up then immediately click when the two windows are okay yeah of course this is when I start messing up again okay it's actually really simple uh, basically I made a video about it uh, I was explaining that yeah I wasn't literally the one that like found this and stuff but a lot of people have made videos about this already they just have really heavy or thick accents or like even one had a translator for them and stuff I'm not trying to like throw shade, I'm just making that video in order to show like a better understanding of it. Because the way that they describe it, it sounds like you're supposed to just move the d-pad when it happens, or they like say weird things and yeah. Anyway, if you want to figure out how to duplicate items like this, go ahead and watch my other video. But anyway, for well, $5 for alcohol and $5 for string, obviously you have to buy these items back in order to get that quantity. So if I sell all of them, I only got three bucks. But if I were to go here and I have to buy all of them back, that's about, yeah, a lot is, yeah, almost 4,000. It's quite a lot for that many, like, strings. But, you gotta think of the payoff on this. Now that I have that much string, and if I were to do it again, see that's how I got it, to uh, the alcohol, and then I were to buy all of it back, that's another 3,000, right? So I guess it's 3,000, not 7,000, whatever. So that's like 3,000 for two of those, right? But then, if we take 762 in my case, and then, like, obviously that's $10 a pop, so that'd be about like, okay, so you're doing like a six grand, right? But obviously those will take some investment, so... In my case, $6,000, if you take that and so about 35, so you're making 35 grand every 6,000 in my case, or something along those lines. Because if I were to go out 
and I were to go down to make Molotovs, I can make 267. Now, you're actually making twice that. So that would be around 14,000, like almost 15,000, something like that. So if you, but it, like I said, it's time consuming because you have to make every two of them individually. Now, I guess if you had a modded controller, you could just like get a shit ton of these like materials and just have it down or whatever. But again, this is as much money as you want. So if you want a lot of money and you want a big payoff, then it's going to take a while. Now, I already have a lot of this shit sitting in my chest, but as you saw, there's no editing in this video. There never is any editing in my videos. <laughs> uh, obviously, throughout the long, you know, pauses and the uhs and the whatever. I know I'm a shitty commentator, but this is me just starting out. Uh, so using this method, I spent about 7,000, no, 6,000, right? So I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to do it for like, I don't know, until it gets down to like 650. So over that, I'm going to be talking for a while and explain how this like works a bit more. Because you're getting two Molotovs off of this, and each Molotov is $24 to this specific vendor. Some of them may even have that as like a specialty item, and you could get a shit ton of money for that, but I think it's very rare for common items to be a... Uh, a wanted item. I think most of them were blue, if not all of them were blue, in which case completely disregard what I just said. But, uh, yeah, if you wanted to make, like, other things that have even, like, more. Like, see, obviously, Molotovs are the easiest, actually, like, maybe even flammable liquid for the easiest, because that's just straight up alcohol instead of alcohol in the stream, but. The best payoff that I found that's the cheapest and the best for beginners, and you can do this straight off the bat too, like as soon as you end up like starting up a game, you get like the tower whatever, and you're like super broke, just go out and find some Molotovs and find some, uh, or not Molotovs, find some string, find some alcohol, then go ahead and do the other method that I showed in the other video in order to get some uh, starter cash, and then just do this a shit ton of time. Yeah, a shit ton of times in order to uh, get that big payoff in order to start like really duplicating the big items and you know maybe when you're like trading with other people you can what eh, make like two sets of it or make even like 17 sets of it and trade out for some really great ass items and like especially gold items because you this works with gold items as well but just remember you have to buy them back uh, certain items however that you can't sell in the first place and obviously this only works with sellable items, the duplication glitch. Uh, because if you don't, like, there, you can't sell it in the actual menu to the vendor. And there are other ways to duplicate, but, you know, the way before, you know, it's completely 100% solo. Like, I'm not even connected to the internet right now, by which I mean I just don't have PS Plus, but, you know, I can't do the matchmaking method. But this method is by far 100% reliable. Nothing ends up happening if you fuck up. If you fuck up, you can just buy the item back because it's the same amount. Eh. It's the same amount of money as if you were to sell it. So if you actually end up selling the item in the process, then you can buy it back for the same amount of money that you got for it. All right. So obviously I'm down to 650. So if you go into here, I have. Uh, Alright, I have 67 of the... Uh, 67, 99, whatever. If I were to go to sell... Now remember, I had like, what, 96, 98,000... 90, no, it's like 97,000 something, I don't know. So now, if I go to sell all of these... I'm making... 4,000. Now I haven't made all of them yet, but as you can see, that was only 50 out of the, like, however much. It was, like, fucking... 7,000, or 700, whatever. So, as you can see, if you're willing to put in the time and effort, yeah, so 726. If you're willing to put in the time and effort, like, I did 50 out of 700, or, you know, no, it was a lot more than 50. I did, like, what? 
70 something I don't know you can go ahead and check and see how many exactly I did in the video but uh obviously I only did a fraction of the complete amount like I can still make a lot more of these if I really wanted to if I go back down yeah I can still make 650 of these so I did a, yeah about like 50, 70, 74 so I, I did like 74 of these so 74 out of that much for me net me around four thousand dollars right so if I were to do another 74 then I would have over the amount that I'd have and I'd still have like 600 left well actually I'd have like 1200 left because you know it's double the amount because of the quantity produced but besides the point you would have a lot of revenue from this if you were to keep doing it over and over again put in the time and effort or if you had a modded controller now sadly there isn't a way in order to speed up this process from my knowledge because it really just takes a shit ton of time to craft but if you're willing to wait and you're willing to put in the time and effort this is a lot more uh what do you call it a lot more productive than running around to the two vendors and doing shit that I was doing. Now, no, that's a good way to farm for medkits, and it's a lot easier doing that than, you know, making medkits like this. Actually, I think that's a lie. Uh, but it's definitely, like, for people who don't have that much money yet, just go out, find some strain, find some alcohol. If you're beginning a new Let's Play or whatever with this, and you're, like, wiping your save, and you're not going New Game Plus or whatever, and you're wanting to start out but have a shit ton of money for this then this is one of the best ways that i found so far i hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, i kind of fucked up my outro last time because it wasn't linked properly but please like share comment subscribe whatever you want to do feel free to it if you didn't like the video you can go feel free to dislike and leave some uh some criticism in the thing below the yeah, comments below Again, obviously I'm not the best commentator in the world, but if you want to watch more of me, then you know what to do. I'll, uh, I hope you guys end up finding this very useful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Senpai Pro out.